Ever wondered what it actually takes to remove an entire human kidney? It's called a nephrectomy, and it's usually done to treat kidney cancer or severe damage. The procedure starts under full general anesthesia, so the patient is completely asleep. There are two main types, open and laparoscopic. In an open nephrectomy, the surgeon makes a large incision in the side or abdomen to reach the kidney directly. In the laparoscopic version, small incisions and a camera are used to perform the surgery with far less trauma. Once inside, the the surgeon carefully disconnects the kidney's blood vessels, ureter, and surrounding tissues. Then the kidney is removed through one of the incisions. Every connection is checked, bleeding is controlled, and the wounds are closed with stitches. Most laparoscopic patients recover quicker and go home sooner, while open surgery may need a longer hospital stay. Have you or someone you know ever gone through kidney surgery? Drop your experience in the comments. But here's the twist. The body can survive with just one kidney, but the remaining one carries all the load. Would you take that chance if it meant beating cancer?